Hello everyone, this is Gruesome. And this is Gore. We have our second short film that we're going to review. It's called Number 7. came out in 2021, filmed in Norway. And this was entered into the Fantastic Horror Film Festival 2022. Here's the storyline. A woman wakes up in the woods alone. After a while moving carefully through the thick forest... She trips and falls. When she turns around, she looks into the eyes of a dead person. What is her number? Wow. Directed by Severin Eskelin. Written by Severin Eskelin. Here's the cast. Magdalena from Dallas as number seven. Hunter one, Jimmy Salamine. And Hunter two as Jaro Haga. And the cast goes on. As I said earlier, this film was shot in Norway. Yes, it's my first... Norwegian horror film? Norwegian horror film. Um, come to think of that, the last Norwegian horror film that I watched was a movie that got me started into podcasting. It's where Grusen Herzog came from. And that was it was called Dead Snow. The colonel was Herzog, so I went from Grusen Herzog. Now let's get back to this short film. Number seven. Directed by Severin Eskelin. And my goodness, what was your take on this? I feel like me and you are going to have a little bit of a different view. I honestly didn't like it that much. I I didn't like how the camera was. It was shaky. It was there. I didn't like the camera. It zoomed in in the weirdest moments. I think it only zoomed in like twice that I thought like was a good moment when she touched the person's hand. And, like, maybe the tear was a good... But she zoomed in in weird moments. Like, I didn't mind it not talking. Like, it didn't really bother me. But, like, I felt like... She, at first, it was just kind of weird. And, like, it like it went off... It started off at a weird point for me. And it just, like... I mean, like, seeing all those people like that... Like, I mean, the blood gore... that It was there. Like, I mean, like, that... I'm not gonna lie, it was... Hit the brakes. <laughs> Think about this. What if that was you that wakes up in the forest? You don't know why you're there. And you're walking through the woods, the forest, and you're finding all these bodies that were killed. Yeah. I mean, we're talking some cool oh, special oh, effects. Oh, oh, yeah. We're talking some cool ways of dying. Okay, this short film impressed me so much that I've never... Ever, ever, in 12 years of watching a short film, that no words needed to be spoken until the very end. What you see is what you get and explains exactly what the fuck is going on. I was so surprised, shocked, impressed. Come on. She's going through the forest and she's finding, I'm um, apparently... Every, it's a it's a, a reality show. Yeah. What was it called? It's like uh, I don't even know, but it was like some prize ten thousand last man standing or some shit. Last like man that. standing, a game show attracting people for ten thousand dollars, and all they were was to pray. Yeah. But you gotta admit, the camera angles in this film I loved. See, only because I've seen more films than you, and it was designed that way. Yes, but in my way, the camera angles didn't look like they should be there. Like. They zoomed in in weird angles. I think they zoomed in in spots they shouldn't have. That, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But it just, it felt like they zoomed in in the places where they shouldn't. I felt like there were some times where they should have actually zoomed out to see more of the picture. I've seen, like, I mean, when they zoomed in on some of the dead bodies, that was cool. I thought those were good zoom-ins. I mean, the gore was there. I like the gore. The, uh, we don't, I don't want to say too much, give it all away. Yeah. And we're really not. But... The gore scenes, the kill scenes, the one oh, lady that was, you know, not quite dead yet. and it, I mean, think about what she's going through. Yeah. I, I get that. I just, I, I, it's just. It's, it's fine. Annoying. I mean, you don't have to agree with me. Uh, I know opinion. it's not. I, I, this, is, this is why I think this is going to be one of our more interesting ones because we're having a debate here about why you like it and I don't like it as much. But. I just I just couldn't get over the shakiness in the camera at the beginning, and I couldn't get over the random times where they would zoom in. I couldn't oh. get over that. I mean, like 
you made a good argument about like not words being said to tell a story. Like that was brilliant because I mean, it's self-explanatory. Yes, but like it's also like I felt like it, it's a very easy self-explanatory way. Like she woke up in the woods and it was just finding random dead people. I mean, like no, no, there's not, not just being dead, but they're being targeted. But one of the scenes I think in this movie that would really scare the shit out of me. First time ever is the chainsaw. Oh. She's hearing the chainsaw of them killing somebody. She can hear it. The gunshot, too. Yeah, think about that. Lucky for her, I'm not going to say no more, there's more to the story. You know, it's a short film, was, but the ending, I thought, was brilliant. Was, yeah. Because you have a woman who wakes up. Yeah. And all she's seeing is everyone else is dead around her. I mean, the only thing I see wrong with the pacing was it was actually kind of fast for me. And a little bit. It, like, and for me, it felt a little bit faster than it could have been. I felt like it could have been a little slower and they could have gotten away with it. But again, mm. that's just my opinion. Right. I, I felt like it could have been slower. I felt like they didn't, like, the camera was shaky here and there. And, like, they could zoom, they zoomed in in some weird moments for me. And the camera angles were just weird. Well, we'll we will agree to disagree. Yes. I find I this mean, shirt the, film the one thing I do love, incredible. I, I found it subpar. <laughs> that's but, fine. But one thing I told him at the beginning is I love it when there's, like, the blurry little scenes. Because, like, I hate it when, like, these high-end films, they do it, and these, like, sometimes in short films, is when, like, the person's unconscious, and then they wake up, and they see clearly. That's not how that works. I like that, like, <laughs> like, I told them at the beginning, I like it when, like, they're, like, when they're, they're waking up, and it's kind of, like, blurry, but you can still, like, see stuff, but it's, not, like, it's blurry. And I, I told them I like that, but other than that, I, I just didn't find this. Well, then, as, what do you give it, then? What's I, your grade? I, I give it a solid six. A six. Yes. And I give it a six because the angles, I didn't agree with it. The camera is shaky. I, I meant like... So you give it a six. Mm -hmm. I give this a nine. I can't give it a ten. I don't give tens. I give this a nine. And I'll tell you real quickly why, like I said before. She wakes up. It's paced perfectly. You wake up. You see dead bodies everywhere. You don't know what the hell is going on. And then you hear a chainsaw and a gunshot. You see one of your friends, apparently, the way it looked... And then, I mean, I've never seen a short film with dead bodies everywhere. Everywhere manageable being killed. We're talking pitchforks and everything. Fucking oh, yeah. brilliant I mean, there's short one, film. There's one uh, gore scene that that I think gives this film a little bit of an edge. But, like, that, I mean. Look, Severin, Esklin, fucking brilliant. I love this film. I really do. So that being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. And this is Gore. And we're out of here. I'll see you guys later.